Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak and unlock your iPhone and iPhone 3G. First off, uh, we're going to have to get a few files. The first one is going to be Red Snow version 0 0.8, um, as well as the firmware you need for your iPhone or iPhone 3G. And if you want to unlock the first generation iPhone, you're also going to need the bootloaders. So to start, we're going to have to open up Red Snow and browse for your firmware. So first thing is, I'll show you how the first generation iPhone uh, you do. So let's say you you have a first generation iPhone. I'm going to try that. And it's going to process the firmware. But um, so after it processes it, you will see the IPSW is uh, successfully identified. You click next. And then this goes. So you wait till this is done. And the next screen pops up. And... For the iPhone first generation, you, you should install Cydia, and if you want to unlock it, just click the unlock box, and then just click next, and um, now you need your bootloaders, so browse for the file that you should have saved on your desktop, and just find the bootloader folder, which I'm also going to put a link for in the description, but um, so this one's asking for the 3.9, so you put it in there, and the 4.6, you put it in there. So once you're done with that, just press next, and this is the same from the 3G, but now I'm going to show you how to do the 3G. So for the 3G, you browse for the firmware, and once you have the 3G's firmware, you click open. It's a very similar process. So once this is done, you click next. Okay, now... Um, for the iPhone 3G, you unlock it a different way, but for now, we're going to install Cydia, so click Next. And this part, you're going to have to turn, make sure your iPhone's off, and once it's off, be prepared to click Next, because then you're going to have to hold down the power button for 3 seconds, and then hold down the home button with it for 10 seconds, and then let go of the power button and keep holding the home button for another 30 seconds to put it in DFU mode. And as this is going, you should be getting a screen like this on your phone. So just wait for that to finish. And on your computer, it should be saying done. So when you're done with that, just exit out or click cancel. Now let's go back to the phone. Okay, so you just let this you you let this screen go. Um, I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's done, and then we'll review the jailbreak. Okay, so now my phone is restarting, and when it turns on, we should have City installed, and then I will show you how to unlock it. So we're waiting a second. So here we go. Okay, so we're going to slide to unlock, and on the next page, there you go, City on. Okay, so once you see Cydia, click on it, and just have to wait, it's going to reorganize. Okay, so once it's done, it will restart. Now let's go back to Cydia, click on it. Okay, so we're just going to go to... this once you set it up for the first time okay so now this is all going to just download the release packages everything you need for Cydia so what you want to do for the 3G when you want to unlock it once it finishes reloading we're going to add a source which I'm going to show you how to do and then all you have to do is download the file from the source and then restart your phone and it should be unlocked but I'll show you how to do that in a second okay so first we're gonna go to manage on the bottom tab and click on sources now you're gonna come to a page like this okay so the source you're gonna need to add which I already added just click edit and then add I'll also have the source in the sidebar if you need it it's going to be repo666.ultrasnow.com just click add and then when you're done just click on it and then just go to ultrasnow 
and then click install on the top right. Um, I'm on AT&T so I don't need to install it so I'm going to skip out on that but for those people who want to who are on T-Mobile or some other carrier and you want to unlock your 3G and just do that and then you're done. Also once you finish installing that package just make sure to restart your phone and it should be unlocked after that and everything should be fine. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you have any questions just leave it in the comments box or send me a message.